What's going on troops? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, my new helmet choice. Those of you that watch the channel regularly will know that I've been running a Bell Bullet now for the last four and a half, five years. Um, so in theory it's time for a new helmet. Uh, so let's get into the video and I'll show you guys what I got and why I chose what I got. <laughs> So, like I said, uh, new helmet, new helmet day, if you want to call it that. Uh, I've been after a new helmet now for a good helmet for the last four, probably six months or so now. Um, well, basically since last season's riding season finished. Um, so, as you know, I run, normally I would run the, um, the Bell Bullet. All right, this has been an absolutely phenomenal helmet for me over the last five years. All right, I love... I love this helmet, I honestly do. I love the size of that, the, the aperture. I can see all sorts, you know, and the, my field of view is absolutely phenomenal with it. But, like I said, you know, it, she's coming to the end of her life now. Five years I've been, I've been riding with this helmet on, and as you guys know, that's kind of the time you need to, you know, start looking for a new helmet, because obviously, you know, with weather, with the sun, um, with, you know, just just age of helmets it, it, it you know they, they, they recommend about a five year lifetime for a, for a helmet so um unless you've gone you know crazy money like thousands of dollars then it might be different maybe um but you know i wanted something as good as that with a with a decent you know aperture for me to, to see out of um i did a few weeks but a few months back actually i did buy uh, this um which is the ilm night helmet now this is a, it certainly is a budget helmet, and I'll leave a link um, up here right now to the actual um, sort of review, stroke first impressions of this helmet. Um, I do like this helmet a lot, I do, but it's just not that, if you know what I mean. So this is definitely going to be a secondary helmet. Um, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I just, I, I don't know. I think the aperture of it is just not as not as big for what I, you know, for how I like it, especially when coming from the Bell Bullets. But anyway, that is going to be my secondary, um, maybe even my third, we'll keep a watch out. But anyway, I've got those two. I've got the Bell Bullet and I've got the ILM Knight Helmet, all right? Both helmets, great, fantastic helmets. Um, the only reason I've started looking for a new one is because the Bell is, is coming to its... Ah, coming to the end of its life, basically, so... I, I shopped around for a while, I looked around for a while, I was looking at the, the Simpson uh, Bandits, the Simpson Ghost Bandit, I think it's called, the, um, <coughs> there's another, those type of helmets, you know the old retro look style helmets that everybody goes for, now I do ride a full face helmet, I always do, apart from the other occasion where I put my half helmet on, um, but yeah, I just, I wanted something that's going to look cool, feel good, be quieter than the bell that's for sure so i went with this company hjc all right i went with these guys and apparently they are bold <laughs> number one in the world but we'll see so let's have a look inside the box and see what i chose okay there she is. You ready? Let's go. Let's get it open. I like the bag that it comes in. As all most helmets do nowadays, you come with an amazing, you know, bag to protect it. But anyway, this is what I chose. It is the HJC V10. Look at that. absolutely beautiful helmet now i got it in the black or the, the shiny black um there is a lot of different colors that this does come in um i, w I did want to go red uh like the like the scouse glide but the red wasn't dark enough so i thought to myself well i'll just go with the black right and and the black is the same as as the the bell basically um great <laughs> i love the look of it I love the weight of it. It's made out of fiberglass, all right? And I love the fact that it's got the easy locks uh, on both sides there, so you can swap your visor without any tools. Um, and again, like I said before, the biggest thing for me was, was that. I mean, that is a, it's a hell of a view. It's a hell of a, um, an aperture for me to see out of. Now, 
I like that, I do. And it's, I didn't realize how lightweight it was. It does have the vents at the front there. Some people might not like that, all right, see, there you go. Um, but I, I don't mind the look of it, actually. Um, it does come with, uh, it did come with a clear, a clear visor, which is there. But obviously I bought the, the dark smoke visor to go on the helmet. Now it looks, it looks phenomenal. <laughs> it really does. She's a little bit scuffed up because I've got my dirty mitts on her right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at that. Really cool. What I like about it as well is look at, look at the, look at that. The little, this here is, is actually built into the helmet. This little metal uh, sign, if you like, or logo is actually built into the helmet. Pretty awesome. All right. And then you got the lock on the side there, so you can pop that open, but it also clicks into place when it's fully shut, it clicks into place and that ain't going anywhere. Um, you can obviously have it cracked a little bit all right and with these pins on the side gives you the 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 and then obviously fully open so you do get a wide variety or a wide range of you know where you can have this this open to it does crack a little bit but again it, it is cracked a very tiny bit there now and there will you would be able to get some air in the, into the um, the inside of the visor but again if you did want it open a bit more the next stage is there all right so it's, it's a decent it's, it's good and obviously like i said before clicks in like so but yeah i like it i like it a lot vents on the front they are open and closable all right um, so if it is raining you can close them and obviously there won't be any ingress of rain same with the top here all right they've got two on the top just slides open shut or shut and open both sides um there is no vent at the back okay uh so the the I, i'm I'll be intrigued to see what the the flow of air is like over my head um it is ece and dot approved like most helmets are nowadays um but it does actually have a really good safety rating as well which is which is good to know now the one thing that kind of got me was the pin lock system now i've never heard of the pin lock system before which is these bad boys you can see them on the visor there there's one there and there's one on there right and what apparently this does it comes with this right which is like an insert it's basically um like a, a yellowy orangey insert that doesn't turn anything orange but it goes on the inside of your of your visor and it stops your visor from fogging up new to me news to me I've never heard that one before, but apparently that's what it does. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to give it a run without that to begin with. Uh, and then we'll, we'll figure that out afterwards. You know, we can try and see if it, it is. Uh, is it going the inside or the outside? Inside or outside? I don't know. Is it inside? Let's have a look. Uh, inside. Yeah, inside. <laughs> be a bit daft on the outside wouldn't it but anyway there you go that is my uh, brand new helmet the hjc v10 all right inside this is all as it always is removable it does have the emergency um pulls there in case you are in an accident god forbid touch wood you never are well the paramedics can use this to rip this out completely and it will be able to take your helmet off a hell of a lot easier comes with a chin spoiler as well which is going to be good for vlogging uh, because you know it'll keep the the, um, the noise away from the microphone uh, on the inside let me have a look please so you can see the vents in there I don't know if you can or you can't no you probably can't actually but anyway that's where the, the up and down is to close them uh, and open them all right to stop any ingress of water and whatnot in there it does have um, room for speakers on the inside in there as well but I believe it's only for the HJC Smart HJC setup. So we're gonna have to figure that out because I got my center uh, and I'd like to run my center on this as well. So um, we'll see, we'll see if we can get them in, fit them in. If we can't, we can't, if we can, great. You know, but there is an actual setup for, for um, speakers, to, for your ear speakers in there and, and wires and whatnot to go around. So I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out. Like I said, uh, the easy pin on the side is, is really impressive actually, like just pulls out like that. Just pulls out and then you just unscrew it take it out do the same on the other side pop it off put your new visor on you know and if you're at night time you want to ride with a clear visor on take it off put it on tighten it up click it in place done easy easy peasy oh as i'm running over the bag but yeah there you go that is my new helmet the hjc v10 let's get into a bit of details about it and i'll put it on my head and show you guys what it looks like so there you go, 
that's what it looks like on. I think it looks pretty cool actually, to be honest. Really cool, and this is the best bit. Look at that, how cool is that? That's gonna look awesome on the bike, it really is. So, where's the thing, here we go. So anyway, let's talk about this uh, helmet in a bit more detail. Hopefully you can still hear me. Um, now I'm not gonna waffle to you guys about this off my head, okay? I'm gonna tell you exactly what it says from the website so you get the accurate information that you need, all right? So, uh, the, apparently, uh, the V10 goes beyond the vintage look with the new age features such as lightweight fiberglass, shell, aerodynamic performance, emergency tabs for extra safety, these bad boys, detachable and washable interior, and easy bolts for quick shield replacement, these bad boys. All right, and the helmet is Bluetooth compatible with the smart HJC uh, thing, which is sold separately, all right? So, a bit of technical specs for you. As you can see, there you go, you can see it now. I love this helmet, man. It's quiet as well, which is good. Um, so it says it meets or exceeds the DOT, uh, 218 approved. Tests includes emergency uh, attenuation, penetration resistance, chin strap structural integrity, labeling requirements for off-road motorcycles. Uh, like I said, it's got a fiberglass shell, which makes it really light. Um, okay, composite shell, actually. Uh, designed to be lightweight with a superior fit and comfort using CAD technology. Don't know what CAD technology is, but it's good. Um, it's compatible with that HJC thing. And the easy bolts, all right? These, again, these easy bolts. Quick shield replacement with safe and easy shield screws that do not require bolts or any tools. So it's really good for that. Uh, and obviously the emergency tabs, again, underneath there, all right? Um, there's a wide... It comes with a three-year warranty as well. Three years. So over half of this helmet's life is covered by a warranty, which is phenomenal. The warranty is applicable to manufactured defects for up to three years from the date of purchase or five years from the date of manufacturing. Wow, that is really good, really good. Um, it comes in a variety of colors. Like I said before, there's probably around 10 to 15 colors uh, that you can actually get. Now I bought this, I was looking, like I said, I was looking for this for, a, for quite some time and I couldn't find a decent deal on it um but eventually i found a company here in canada called uh god what they're called wait one i'll tell you what they're called right now um and they provided me with a, with a fantastic deal actually a really really good deal and it would be cheaper than everywhere else cheaper than buying it from the states uh who was it revco.ca all right i'll leave a link up here right now so you guys can go check it out but they were cheaper than anybody um in canada and they were certainly cheaper than buying it from the states this helmet and the visor cost me 400 Canadian dollars. Bargain, absolute bargain. And for the, for the look of it, for the, for the feel of it, for the size, I mean, I went for a size large. Um, and it does have the old school D-locks underneath there, as you can see, okay? Not like your uh, click, click, click jobs, it's old school D-locks on this as well. So yeah, um, I really like it, I do, I really like it. I think it looks sleek, I think it looks, looks good, especially when that's down. I mean, that is badass. And I like the fact that I've got a big enough aperture where my, you know, I'm not, my, my field of view is, is really good. I mean, I can see both of my hands there right now and they're both sideways, like as far as they can go sideways. Yep. And yep, I can see my fingers moving. Really good. And it's going to be, you know, it's easy for, for movement. It doesn't catch on anything under here. It's, um, it's really good. And it's, it's an oval shaped helmet as well. So. But again, really, really good. I like it. Like I said, I paid 400 bucks for this and I can't complain. Now, I know I said about the weight before being, being, being really lightweight. Well, actually it says on the back. So it's uh, 1,380 grams. Grams, that's nothing. <laughs> it literally is. It weighs hardly anything. Um, I do like it, man, I do. It reminds me of an old school, old school, um, Superbike racer helmets or touring car racer helmets or just racer helmets in, in general. Old school, you know, from the 80s, 70s, 80s. Really like it, man. It's, it is a very nice, very nice helmet. The inside is lovely. Um, so, yeah, so like I said, I went for a, a large, uh, which is a 59, 59 inch. Um, and they do sell them in obviously small, medium, large, extra large, etc. So... But yeah, anyway, I can't wait to get on the road with this actually soon, very soon. 
Um, I'm gonna have to figure out how my moto vlogging setup is gonna be with this helmet, um, whether I'll be able to get the Bluetooth, the center in there or not with the speakers uh, and stuff like that. But I'm gonna have to figure out a way because of those on the front there, I'm gonna have to potentially side mount a GoPro, like as in, you know, the, the, the whole arm thing to bring it around like that. But we'll see, uh, we'll see because I'm used to having the bell with it on the front there, so I don't know. And obviously, my Senna, my speakers, everything in there is is gonna have to come out uh, and be replaced into the into the V10. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see. I'll do a video on that actually, actually and see. Um, but yeah, really, really impressed with it. I love the, the look of it with the dark visor. I really do. I need to figure out this pin locks thing uh, for the mist. But yeah, really cool. Anyway, if you did like that uh, first initial uh, thoughts of, the, of my brand new V10 helmet from HTAC, then please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, uh, please remember to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I am Stevie, the military biker. Take it easy wherever you are around the world. And remember, you'll never walk alone.